Hello everyone, I'm Miss Rafa. Today we're going to start with Unit 9, Forces of Nature. Let's get started. Module 5 Emergency and Rescue Vocabulary of Natural Events Earthquake Earthquake Flood Flood You can say hurricane or you can say hurricane. Drought. Dual edge, shlatul fuzz. Drought. Tsunami. Tsunami. Volcano. Volcano Avalanche Avalanche Now let's start with the text Forces of Nature Volcano A volcano is a hole in the Earth's surface which pushes out hot liquid rock. A volcanic eruption is very powerful as hot ash and gases are released into the air and the liquid rock flows out of the volcano. The gas and ash can spread all over the earth, causing change to the weather. After a volcano erupts, sunlight can be reduced and crops can die. Volcanic eruptions can be predicted by scientists, which helps save lives. Two, earthquake. Earthquakes happen when a big number of rocks move under the Earth's surface. When the edges of the rocks get stuck, pressure increases and the ground is shaken powerfully. Buildings, streets and bridges are destroyed by earthquakes and many people die. The strength of an earthquake is measured using the Richter scale. If the measurement is over 6, damage is caused to large areas. Earthquakes can be predicted, so people can be prepared. Buildings can also be built to resist earth movements.
hurricane. Hurricanes are dangerous storms. Air rises over warm tropical seas and starts going round in circles. It continues to grow until it forms a hurricane. The center of the storm is called the eye. Fast winds go round the eye at a speed of over 120 km per hour. During hurricanes, trees and buildings are destroyed and towns are flooded by the rainfall. Hurricanes can be followed by satellites and warnings can be sent to people. Tsunami Tsunamis are huge, dangerous waves, often in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. They are caused by an earthquake or volcanic action at sea. A large amount of water moves across the sea for thousands of miles at the speed of a jet plane, 800 kilometers an hour. When it reaches a coastline, it stops suddenly and the land is hit by a huge wave. In 2004, a terrible tsunami in the Indian Ocean hit 11 countries. It killed more than 150,000 people and made millions homeless. Beta international warning systems are being developed to inform people to move to higher ground. Read the article, then read these phrases and decide if they describe a volcano, hurricane, earthquake or tsunami. A spinning storm, a hurricane, causes the earth to shake, an earthquake, a giant wall of water, tsunami. Produces liquid rock. A volcano. Travels at 800 kilometers an hour. Tsunami. Can change the weather. A volcano. Has an eye, a hurricane, starts over tropical seas, a hurricane,
Read the article again and answer these questions. What can be reduced after a volcanic eruption? Sunlight can be reduced. What is destroyed by a hurricane? Trees and buildings are destroyed by a hurricane. What is shaken by an earthquake? The ground is shaken by an earthquake. What can be done to resist earth movements? Buildings can be built to resist earth movements. What are tsunamis caused by? Tsunamis are caused by an earthquake or volcanic action at sea. What is being developed to help people know about a tsunami? Better international warning systems are being developed. Describing how things work. Copy and complete this description using the passive form of the verbs in brackets. How tsunami warning systems work? An earthquake is detected by special stations in the region. If the earthquake is above 7.5, the first tsunami warning is sent out. Messages from the stations on the seabed near the earthquake center are checked for signs of a tsunami. If a tsunami is detected, the station sends out a warning. Radio, TV, sirens or text messages can be used. Sirens هي صفارات الإنذار. Sirens. Now let's go to the activity book. Read the extracts from newspaper reports. Which of the following are they describing? Earthquake, flood, hurricane, drought, tsunami, 
Volcano, Avalanche. The liquid rock flowed out towards the town. Volcano Fast winds around the eye at over 120 km per hour. Hurricane It measured 8.2 on the Richter scale. Earthquake Killer waves were 30 meters high. Tsunami The heavy rainfall caused the walls of the dam to break and water poured into the town. Dam who is said, dam. Flood There has been no rain for over three months and the crops have failed. Drought Huge amounts of snow began to slide down the mountain sides onto the town below. Avalanche Now let's see some grammar. القاعدة اليوم بسيطة جدا. هي قاعدة المبني للمجهول مع الحاضر. عنا ال present passive present يعني حاضر passive يعني مبني للمجهول لأنه حاضر بنستخدم am أو is أو are طبعا حسب الفاعل أما الفعل الأساسي بيكون بالتصريف الثالث هي إذا كان زمن الجملة حاضر بسيط أما إذا كان زمن الجملة حاضر مستمر فمنحط am أو is أو are حسب الفاعل بعدها منحط كلمة being وبعدها الفعل بالتصريف الثالث طب ليش حطينا هون being؟ لأنه نحنا منعرف إنه الحاضر المستمر يعني ing فما فينا نحط تصريف فعل من دون ing فمنضف له being بين الفعل المساعد والفعل الأساسي تذكروا إذا الفعل مستمر منحط له being حفظوا شكل الفعل For example, every year new technology is developed to warn people about possible disasters. وين هون الفعل المبني للمجهول؟ في عنا is زائد الفعل بالتصريف الثالث. Another example, walls are being built to keep the sea from flooding the village. وين الفعل المبني للمجهول؟ عنا are لأنه كلمة walls جمع بعدها بيجي عنا being بعدها built okay. أما بالنسبة للاستخدام use the present passive to talk about processes and facts بنستخدمه لما بدنا نحكي عن عمليات أو حقائق عادة بيستخدموه أكتر شي بنشرات الأخبار مثلا تم القبض على المجرمين مين اللي قبض عليهم ما بيهمنا بيهمنا أنه تم القبض عليهم okay? Use it when the focus is on the action not on who does it هون التركيز على الفعل ما بيهمني مين مسك المجرمين بيهمني أنه المجرمين انمسكوا تم الإمساك بهم أوكي؟ طيب Passive voice with can إذا كان في عنا كان بالجملة شو منعمل؟ نحنا منعرف إنه بعد كان بيجي الفعل بحالة المصدر فشو رح نعمل؟ منحط كان بعد الفعل بي وبعد الفعل بالتصريف الثالث ليش حطينا بي بالنص؟ لأنه بعد كان لازم يجي مصدر فمنحط بي لنعوض عنه، أوكي؟ 
إذا إذا الفعل حاضر بسيط منحط آم أو إز أو آر زائد الفعل بالتصريف التالت إذا كان الفعل حاضر مستمر منحط آم أو إز أو آر زائد بينج دايما منجيب الفعل بي زائد بينج زائد الفعل بالتصريف التالت أما إذا كان في عنا كان بالجملة فمنحط كان بعد بي بعد الفعل بالتصريف التالت For example Storms can be predicted by satellites. When الفعل المبني للمجهول can be predicted. Let's take another example. There has been an earthquake. People are being rescued by helicopter. When الفعل المبني للمجهول هون are being rescued الزمن هون مبني للمجهول مع الحاضر المستمر ولنذكر الفاعل حطينا كلمة by وبعدها helicopter لما بيكون الفاعل مهم منحط by وبعدها اسم الفاعل إذا بالمبني للمجهول منبدل بين الفاعل والمفعول به إذا نستخدم المبني للمجهول مع كان لنحكي عن الاحتمالية نحن نعرف أنه كان بتعني يستطيع أو لا يستطيع فهي احتمالية ونستخدم باي لنقول مين الشخص اللي قام بالفعل أو لنحكي عن الفاعل فلما منشوف باي نعرف أنه الجملة مبني للمجهول When it is important to say who did the action use باي نحن قلنا أنه التركيز بالمبني للمجهول بيكون على الحدث وليس على الفاعل فلما بيكون ذكر الفاعل مهم نستخدم كلمة باي بنهاية الجملة ومنحط اسم الفاعل أوكي؟ okay? Let's practice Rewrite these sentences in the passive If you get hungry, you can buy snacks at the shop في عنا هون كان مندور على الفعل الأساسي كان باي If you get hungry Snacks can be put at the shop. Every year, thousands of tourists visit the islands. جيبوا ورقة وقلم وقفوا الفيديو وحلوا التمرين. بعد ما تحلوا التمرين شغلوا الفيديو وتأكدوا من الحل. Every year, the islands are visited by thousands of tourists. We recycle paper and make new products. Paper is recycled and new products are made. Scientists can predict natural disasters more accurately these days. Natural disasters can be predicted by scientists more accurately these days. They are building new walls around the village to stop flood water. New walls are being built around the village to stop flood water.
Look at the picture and complete the text. Use the correct passive form of the verbs in brackets. How rain is formed. The water in the ocean is heated by the sun. The water is turned into tiny droplets in clouds. At the same time, Plants and trees lose water from their leaves too. This water is carried into the air too, and the clouds are also formed this way. When the clouds move over cool air on the land, rain is formed. The rain falls back into the sea and the land and the whole water cycle starts again. That's everything for today. Thank you very much. See you next time.